Hello and welcome back to another video in our lesson on Excel Draw. In this video I'm going to be showing you the export options for Excel Draw. So you can automate Excel Draw and export different documents and things like that. So the first thing I want to look at, I want to uh, direct your attention right over here to the exporting settings. And if we go into the export settings right here, you will see a window that I kind of touched up on a little bit before. And in this window, you can automate Excel and what Excel does. So for instance, this is our automated exporting. So you can select a folder, the file name, and a file type. And you can have it selected to either overwrite an existing file, if one exists, to automatically open, to open or sorry to export upon closing the Excel document or to export upon the generate and I already showed this off a little bit before but I'm going to go ahead and show it again so using these same settings I have it set up to have a file right here to be created and to export upon me clicking the generate graph button. I also have it set up to automatically open whenever it gets done. So I have that saved and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test that out. So right here we have our graphed image and to enable the exporting settings I'm going to have to click the auto export. And by doing that all I have to do is now hit generate graph and it's creating my DXF document updated the graph and it is opening up on the other screen which it'll populate right there. So there we have our new CAD drawing. Okay so that is how you can use the automated export when that way. If you want to automatically export something but you don't want the graph to keep populating in the background you can actually turn that off by going over to extras and right here it says no graph and you can select that and that option will completely disable the graphing components of all of Excel Draw. So if you go and you generate a graph like when we did before it will not produce a graph. Instead it will just go ahead and it will export just because we have those settings set and as you can see we now have our exported document. Now this is very handy because it does take a little bit of time to graph an object inside of Excel. So in case you don't really need to graph an object but you just need to export, that is an option. Or you can just create a DXF without even generating objects inside of Excel. Now something else that I wanted to show is I'm going to deselect that right at the moment so we don't need that. And I'm going to turn off the no graphing. But inside of the export settings, if you open that up, you'll see that there is this little section right down here. This is to automate Excel Draw with a macro. So using this macro right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit copy. You can create your own macro and export using the same settings that we have in the export settings window. So using this macro right here, you can actually export with all these settings. So let me show you how that works. If you press Alt and F11, you will be greeted with this window right here, which is on the uh, Visual Basic Editor. And this is where you can automate Excel and you can put in your own macros and things like that. You can actually write programs inside of Excel. And it's very simple to do. For instance, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go ahead and insert a module. And this is where you can start typing in code. So I'm going to type in sub, which means subdirectory. And then I'm going to type in whatever I want the name of my macro to be. So this is going to be test export DXF. And I'm going to hit enter. And now in this area, this is my macro. And if I paste in the macro that we copied from Excel Draw, we can now use this to export data. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to close out of this window so we don't have that anymore. And now I'm going to look back at this. If I want to generate a button or a macro, I'm going to go over here to insert button. I'm going to draw right here. And you can see my test export DXF is right there. So I can hit OK. And all I have to do now is just click this button and whatever settings we had set up before is going to export. And there we have it. On the other screen, we have Autodesk Tree View loading, and here it is. 
So those are the ways that you can automate Excel Draw. Now there are other options that we are implementing as we can, and we plan on extending this functionality. But for now, that is some of the options that you can use to uh, automate and export an Excel Draw. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope that this has helped you. If it has, go ahead, give us a thumbs up, like our video. If you have any questions, please ask us, let us know. We'll try to answer as best we can. And if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to us. It really helps us out a lot. We don't post videos very often, but when we do, we make sure that it is quality content. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you have a great, wonderful day.